In this video, I'll show you how to control how your AI voiceover sounds in math.ai. Welcome to this video. My name is David. And if you don't already have math, you can use the link below to sign up for a free account and follow along with this tutorial. So now I'm inside my project here and I want to change how this voiceover sound uh, and it's uh, neat, uh, just a, an AI voiceover. And it's really awesome. We can actually just play this line to listen. Let's play. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? Now, it sounds really awesome, but let's assume we wanted to do a couple of manipulations and control how it sounds. There are a bunch of options we can do, and I'll just click inside here. And once I do that, you'll notice some few options appear up here. We've got the general and under the general tab, if I click on it, you'll see the different variations you can create for Nate. Either as a new cast voiceover, an angry, cheerful, sad, excited, friendly, terrified, Let's scroll down slightly, shouting, unfriendly, whispering, hopeful. For example, let's try shouting and then let's generate the audio. Let's wait for it to generate in a couple of seconds. It's done. Let's play. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? Listen to that. It's really, really awesome. So you can make the edits based on what you want based on the words that you want, based on the kind of tonality that you want. Now, let's go back to the general. And then we're going to change like the pitch slightly. You can either take it through the slider to negative 50, positive 50, and you can also reset it to default. So if you take it to the negative and we click on generate audio, let's play. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? You kind of like change from the net voice we had to now like a deeper net. So uh, it's it's really, really awesome. Let's reset. Let's go for the speed. Let's say we want the speed to be a little bit slower. And then we can generate the audio to listen to this particular after this particular change. And then let's play. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? So it's a little bit slower, uh, but that's how it's supposed to work. Next up, we can just actually reset to default. And then we are going to control this. Let's say uh, there's a comma, just an assumption. If I put a comma, obviously it's going to uh, like add a pose of sorts. But let's assume we want to add a pose here intentionally. You can click inside there and then click add pose. And then you can see the preset values for the pose. So you can check out extra week, weak, medium, strong, extra strong. So you can also enter a custom value in seconds uh, just to make sure you work with that. But let's go with something like weak. And we are now going to have a pause that is weak between PDF and file. Let's actually generate this audio. And then let's, li let's listen. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? Uh, a general pause or a weak pause is added, but this is not the kind of scenario where you can add that because we actually are breaking this particular option and I don't think it's okay. Let's just remove that. Backspace uh, looks good. A couple of other options that you can add is that you can add emphasis to this particular file. For example, if I click on this emphasis, when you're right inside here, click on this. So you get this new dialog box that is going to give you a couple of emphasis that you can add. So for example, you'll see all the words. So the words that you are available here, uh, you can add emphasis and you can only add five nodes. So if I add an extra one, it's going to uh, be gone. We can actually reset. Now we can either set the node to be high or low. So for example, let's set this one. Let's, them, let's set them all to be uh, maybe at this level, five nodes. And then let's preview. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? Now, hear how it sounds, but if you make a couple of changes, let's say, uh, bring a couple of this down. Uh, let's just preview. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? It allows you to kinda create emphasis where it's needed. 
not the best example but you get the feeling and the point i'm driving home you can make different changes so let's reset that and then cancel we don't want to apply that and uh, the final control option that you have over the voiceover and how it sounds is the pronunciation so if you come over to a word like canva highlight it or actually uh, highlight it or double click on it a new pop-up for pronunciation is going to come up click on it it's going to load up and then you'll be able to preview and select a suitable pronunciation so this is what we have you can preview let's play canva that's canva or canva whatever it really depends on uh, uh where you come from english is that language to me so you can also create a custom and then uh, you can add different things pronounce or alter spelling etc but let's say uh, we want let's see if we can get different variations with this yes we have a couple of different variations for the edit so we have smart suggestions uh us uk us adc so let's play this let's play edit what about the original edit sounds the same uh kind of but the pronunciations are usually popped up here you can create custom adc but simply put with the various key features available inside math.ai you can control how your ai voices sound like and once you're done if you make the changes to this particular one then you can just click on these three dots here and then apply settings to project really really awesome to work with so that is how you can control how your ai voiceover sounds in math.ai i hope this tutorial is of value to you thank you so much for watching this video